Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21 and in this video I'm going to show you how to format and colour code performance indicators in Tableau. Sometimes all your executive management want is a high level performance overview that shows the numbers for the latest week or month and a comparison to either the previous time period or the budget. And since the primary aim of such a dashboard is to show which areas of the business are doing well and where we've got issues, it is common practice to add additional visual cues. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's have a look at the sales KPI numbers before formatting. So on this sheet, the big bold number is the sales for the latest month and the smaller number in the bottom line is the percentage difference compared to the previous month. And if I click through different categories, I can see that the numbers change accordingly. So if we wanted to make that percentage difference look a bit more prominent, there is a few things we can do. And the first thing I like to do is add bold up and down arrows to indicate performance change. To do that, we can right click the percentage difference field, go into default properties and select number format. We can see that it's currently set as a percentage, but we need to go into the custom options. And what we need to do now is find those arrow or triangle characters we'd like to use. So I'm on a Windows laptop, so I'm going to open up the character map and look for those icons there. But if you don't have them on your laptop, you can just search for Unicode characters online and copy them from there. So first, let's select the up triangle and paste it into the custom format field. Then add a semicolon and paste in the down showing triangle followed by the same 0.0% expression. And in Tableau, this first part up until the same semicolon will refer to the positive numbers and the second part will refer to negative numbers. And in this case, we've told Tableau to use the arrow characters instead of the plus and minus signs. So let's hit OK and we can already see that the indicator has popped up in the view. Now, the next step is to add color to those numbers. Unfortunately, Tableau doesn't have the capability to conditionally color a part of a text field yet. So if I dragged that uh, percentage difference field onto color, the whole text field will change color, but that's not exactly what I want. So, so the workaround we have here is to create two new calculations that would represent the two different conditions, one for when the change is positive and one for when it's negative. So first we can duplicate the original percent difference field just to preserve the custom formatting we've just created. And we can edit this calculation and I like giving them very clear names, just not to confuse with any original calculations. So I'll call it positive label. And the expression I want to use here is if that percentage difference to the previous month is greater or equal to zero, then return that expression. End. And we don't need to include anything in the else clause. The calculation is valid, so let's hit OK. And we can duplicate this positive label calculation to create a negative one. So let's edit that and call it negative label. And the only thing we need to change in the expression is to replace the operator with less than zero. Now we can drag those two labels onto the text mark and edit the text. 
we can remove the original percent difference field and paste the two label calculations instead of that. And we have to make sure they're in the same line and there is no space between them. And now we're able to format these two fields separately. So for example, we can make the negative label bold and red. Or we can make the positive label bold and blue. And that's it. If we hit OK, we will only see one number. And if we choose different subcategories, the number and the color will update accordingly. So just one thing to remember, if you have multiple KPIs on your dashboard, you will need to create separate labels for each of them. And you might end up with quite a few calculations in your workbook. So I would recommend keeping them all together in a separate folder just to avoid any confusion. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you now feel more confident to make your KPI indicators stand out. Check out the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my colleague Priya's tutorial on formatting borders and lines. Hit the link on the screen to watch it next.